coming for like Nigerian program and we had jello fries and then I tasted it guess what hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Fidaus Osman and I'm a Ghanaian student living in Germany I like to share my life experiences and uh, other fun stuff yeah and if you are new here you're welcome and if you are old thanks for sticking with me so in today's video mm, 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 we are cooking Ghana jollof yes don't forget to subscribe and like this video for me so let's get right into the video <laughs> so before we start our jollof fries i'm going to need um these ingredients tomatoes onions pepper um i'm going to use chicken wings and then gizzard i really really love gizzard and of course rice you definitely need rice and i'm going to add some carrots as well First of all, I'm going to steam my chicken with my wings, um, I mean my chicken with my gizzard together. So I'm going to add some ginger and onions. Um, most of the time I like to add garlic, but I realize I don't have garlic and so I'm just going to manage it like that. You know, um, ginger, um, I was the name, gizzard has like some stinky taste, so you need to add a lot of ginger plus garlic, but I don't have garlic, so I'm going to go like that. So I'm going to cut it and then add it. Okay, so I'm going to use this aromat to um, spice my chicken and gizzard and I'll add some cubes, chicken cubes. It's really, really nice, trust me. I'm just going to add like half of it and spice it with the chicken. Then, of course, you need salt to taste. A little water, a little, a little water. Leave my chicken and gizzard to steam on medium heat, not too high, so that it gets to cook all and the seasonings gets to like you know dissolve into it. Really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and chop my tomatoes. I don't know how you guys chop your tomatoes, but back in Ghana, I didn't like um, the seeds in the tomatoes. I didn't like it at all. But since I came to Germany, tomatoes here are so expensive. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to cut everything together. I'm not going to remove any seeds because I need a lot of tomatoes. I need the juice as well. So now um, I'm beginning to, you know, cope with tomato seeds in my food. So. And I'm done chopping my tomatoes like I love tomatoes. I like a lot of tomatoes, fresh tomatoes in my jello fries. I mean, why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onions and I like lots of onions. Who doesn't like plenty of onions? I, I mean, I don't like blending my onions. I like to cut them in slices. Onions are big. <laughs> I've got some hot pepper. Pepper. I mean pepper. Look, which I mean if you don't put pepper in your food, massa, chale, why? Why won't you add pepper to your food? Does it need pepper like what's up? I'm going to add this pepper to my jello fries. I like I like it spicy, so you know I gotta dig it in. I'm going to add three. This pepper is actually really really hot. So three is enough. Yeah. Okay, so guys, once upon a time, yeah, I went for. Don't come for me, okay? It's just a joke. So I went for like Nigerian program, and you know, it was really nice, really really nice program, and 
they had jello fries they had um i think a goosey and then a bar and then they had this is the other food and jello fries i'm like yo i'm going for the jello fries today's the day i want to know how <laughs> i want to taste it so go 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 thanks for my plates and for the jello fries was with good meat yeah i think so and then i tasted it guess what I think Ghana jollof is nicer. <laughs> it was wasn't bad. The jollof fries was nice, but it didn't have that flavor. Maybe it was that particular person that cooked the jollof fries. That's why. But hello, Nigerians. I've I've had a couple of Nigerian jollof fries, and I don't want to be biased. I'm not being biased. I just want to say that. Hey, Charlie. You know, say Ghana Jollof be the best. So, my Nigerian friends here, yeah, don't take it too personal. I hope you're watching this video. Learn the proper way of doing Jollof fries. Not that thing that you guys have been doing, okay? <laughs> okay? Don't take it personal. I'm just joking. I love Nigerians. I mean, <laughs> so we're going to start um, stewing. First of all, I'm putting on my fire. Don't laugh at my sauce corn, okay? Okay? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so right now I'm frying my onions for just like 30 seconds, you know, you don't want to be too soft, that's for me, I don't want to be too soft, yes. And here comes my fresh tomatoes. I covered it. Uh, I covered it because, like, the oil really jumps a lot, and it can really hurt your skin. So I don't want any, you know, skin burn or anything. So I'm just covering it to be safe. I think you should do that too. Okay. So after adding your tomatoes and then let it steam for about you know, five minutes or so. Then you add your tomato paste, you need it, it's essential in general fries. <laughs> okay, for this one, I'm going to add some curry powder. I really love curry. Let's add a little, a little, and then I'm also going to add the stock, the chicken and ginger stock. You don't throw it away, you need it. We're going to add like, you know, additional taste. So, I love it. And I'm going to add one of that Maggi. And I need it to steam. You know? Allow in your sauce to stew for a while, like um, 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Let it stew very well. Add everything in your maggie, your salt, and everything. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a little bit of the sauce out. I'm going to use this for my chicken. You guys will see at the end of the video how I do this. 
So this is just for my chicken. It's taking a little bit of that. So at this point, I'm, going, I'm just going to add my rice. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add my rice. Personally, I don't wash my rice. So don't come for me at the comment section, please. I think it's a personal choice. I don't wash my rice. Just going to add my rice. I'm going to add a little water. So this water is just like, you know, I rinse, rinse it with the stock. If you have a foil, you can cover a napkin, but then use plastic bag, okay? Then you cover it, let cover it, and yeah. And then reduce the fire as well so that the rice doesn't burn. So we're going to leave this and come back after five minutes. Yes, you guys can remember I took some of this tea from the my main sauce because I was going I'm going to use this for my chicken. This is what I do normally. I make like a sauce around my chicken. I like eating my chicken. Like I want my chicken to be, to be juicy, okay? So I always do this and then I add my chicken. Then what I do is um what I do is I add honey. I mean if you don't do this, you should try it. Honey with chicken, it's something else. It's really really nice. So I add some honey. Yeah. So you want to cover this and leave it on low heat so that you know the tomato sauce and the juice and the honey dissolves into your chicken. As I said, I like juicy chicken. So this is fine and right. Good. And one thing about jollof is you need to stir a lot like in between you need to be stirring so that it cooks well you know so this is fine I'm going to add the carrots normally so much noise so I'm going to add the carrots normally I Wait till the jollof is soft like it's ready. Then I add my carrots. I like my carrots to be crunchy. So I I like to add my carrots at the latter part of cooking when the jollof is like ready. Because I want my carrots to be crunchy. I don't like it too soft. So I don't add it too early when I'm cooking the rice. So you just add your carrots and then leave it for just like two minutes and the jollof is good to go. Our jollof is ready. And I like to take my jollof with eggs, chicken wings, and gizzard. So here we go. It's 110 <laughs> percent. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope this was helpful. Hey, Nigerians, I hope you learned a lot. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs>